we're going to talk about one of the techniques about schedules in Revit, which is scheduling multi-category. Actually, it is used when we want to schedule all of the properties of all of the existing objects in the project. I mean, we do not schedule the walls and the windows and the doors separately but we schedule them together so i choose multi-category then i click on ok after that in a schedule properties i should specify the fields which are common between all of the objects in the projects and then i want them to be scheduled first of all i add the category since it enables us to sort the categories by to sort the objects by their categories i mean we got all of the objects but we're gonna group them by category for example about the properties which are common between the objects like count and i can name family and type as well and also model type mark you know there are several properties which are common between all of the projects for instance even level so you can add your desired properties that you want them to be scheduled if i click on ok the given schedule table would not be proper and convenient i mean we got too many objects in which are not organized check this out so for organizing this schedule table i open the schedule properties and then in sorting and grouping first of all i sort the items by the category don't forget to check blank line since the different types of the categories will be separated from each other by the blank line then if you want you can sort them by family and types too i mean this is optional i check grand total then i uncheck itemize every instance and then in formatting if you want to have the calculation totals just like the counts here we can specify to have them calculate totals let's check it out and then i'm gonna give you another point here we got caseworks at the first category and then we got the ceiling as you can see we got different types of the ceilings and then we will have the floors and the types by this way then furniture very well generic models or walls and then the windows and so on so by this way you can have all of the properties of all of the objects in your current project by using multi-category uh, scheduling but here there is a point let me make the schedule precise by this way and then i'm gonna uncheck the blank line i mean here i have sorted the items only by their categories not by their types and about the important points here in the multi-category schedule table at the column of category we got the included categories in the schedule while in the older versions some of these categories like walls mullions roofs and floors couldn't be scheduled here i have opened the version of 2021 and then i'm gonna schedule a multi-category one then in the fields i only specify the categories since i'm gonna show the shortcomings in the older versions by this way then in sorting and grouping i want to sort them by their categories grand totals and i uncheck itemize let's check this out here if i arrange these two views as you can see in the new version we got all of the categories let us compare them we got case forks as you can see ceiling is skipped because in the older versions in the multi-category schedulings ceilings were disregarded as you are concerned for example the curtain systems or curtain wall mullions as you can see we do not have them in the older version then you can compare these two lists with each other or even site is disregarded walls are not considered so roofs walls ceilings curtain systems curtain panels or mullions all of these are disregarded disregarded i mean these are the new features and new updates of the revit 2024 which it shows that the multi-category schedule table has been upgraded since it allows us to have all of the existing objects in the project in the schedule table so in this short video tutorial we learned what is multi-category schedule and also the differences between these two versions if you're interested in such techniques and you want to progress and grow your expertise in scheduling you can register my professional course Revit I mean a scheduling in Revit via the below link in order to take your skills to the new heights